Hey guys, Jay here, and I am pretty close. As you can see here, I am wave 29 out of 30, but this is close to the Simulacrum project. I am I have ran 49, have completed 49 Simulacrum, and this is the 50th run. And you know, right after this one, I will try to go ahead and show you the result, basically. I don't even know exactly how much it is, but here are so far the big loot that I have recorded. So uh, we have nine raw defines. These, by the way, all happen on stream. I know actually I think there was one that happened off stream, but you know they all most of them happen on stream. Uh, this is significantly more than I expected to to drop. Um, I think so. Once every uh, like five simulacrum, we still have one raw divine drop. I mean, it is less impactful since this league divine price is so low, but you know, it is what it is, right? Still a divine drop. The one passive voices here drop on the second run that I have. I am not gonna include that into the uh, profit of this particular project, of course. This is a big ticket. We just know that it's there. There is a slim chance that we have it. I'm very lucky to have it very early on. Uh, there are people in this league who have ran like 200 or more, but don't even have like a three or don't have a three or one passive voices drop. Uh, most of them are five and seven. The good thing is five passive voices. This league actually have some value to them. Currently, they are around. Hover, oh, hover somewhere from two to four divine, depend on the market. Uh, but yeah, it's some decent money. Split personality, these are the one that I have got and I've sold. So uh, there is one that is very significant here, which is the strength and intelligence. This is 14 divine. At the time I drop it, I sold it immediately for 13.5. Uh, and then this one, I believe, was uh, Intelligent and Mana, which is 8 Divine. And so these total are, the, let's say, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 26, so 25.5 Divine from uh, Split Personality that are sold, by the way. Megalomania, I dropped so many of it, and I all just, you know dump them into the one divine tab here and uh, you know some of them sold for one divine so uh, yeah there was like three that is sold for one divine i even missed some of the um, some of the uh of, of the purchase because i was afk but uh, you know it could be more right it could be more than this uh, I level 84 cluster, uh, cluster basis, so these are the ones that were sold. Most significantly were three that are, they are the mana reservation efficiency small cluster. I level 84, three passive, uh, just the base are sold for five divine. If we were in last league, we have could have been having like 180 divine for these, but uh, because this league, the problem with Simulacrum Profit this league is tier 17 now exists, and tier 17 can now drop uh, items that are I item level more than 83, which is 84. Before the item level 84 cluster is the threshold that you can grow the 35% increased effect of passives and that was exclusive to simulacrum and that is one of the reasons why simulacrum was very 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 profitable previously this league not so much voices so these are the five uh five passive voices that i've got in 50 runs so on average one every 10 runs uh, the first two were sold for two divine. The the last three was for three divine uh, because the price changed, and so I keep the price there. But there are five voices dropped by the way. There's a gem. This one is the cast when damage taken level twenty one and twenty quality. I sold for four divine, and you know 
after this run, I will show you the gem stash in a little bit as well. But uh, that is the one that I thought that would be, you know, somewhat uh, valuable. So I price check and I list them up uh, immediately and got it sold. So in total, all of these combined, I got 81 divine plus the one passive voice of stuff is like over here, right? So 81 divine of stuffs in 50 simulacrum run. Those are from the, you know, middle to high ticket item. Let me uh, quickly finish this run and then I'll show you the rest of the profit that we are having. That is not everything that we got, of course, as you can see here, uh, as you can see here, we got a bunch of random stuffs, right? The nice thing you can do in Simulacrum is actually to, uh, you know, craft item or some shit like that. I just crafted this item. This is for another project, by the way. I am preparing the gear for it. But it's for another project. Right, so the other thing I would like to first of all show a little bit in game and then I'll go to Wealthy Exile in order to calculate them uh, much quicker. So these are all the stack decks that I've had for 50 runs um, before I, you know, purposely remove uh, most of the things that I think are like common drop in the simulacrum, except for maybe currency. Uh, the currency, I have used like 50 of this just to gamble on the uh, belt, by the way. Uh, let me see right now how much it's worth, like only 2 chaos, right? So, it's nothing, right? Probably I wasted 1 divine on this. But the currency here are actually, actually like 60% are from the simulacrum, except for the divines. The divines I already calculated uh, in the, uh, the notepad over here, right? This is the divine. But most of the other currencies are from Simulacrum. Just know that. Um, probably the total amount of currency, I guess here, by my rough estimation, is probably around 20 divides. Uh, no exotic, of course. Uh, the other thing that we get... Of course, there's still a lot of stuff that are not sold. I can reduce the price or whatever. Uh, we got like uh, this much back in terms of simulacrum. So 50 runs, net one extra simulacrum, and then 59 shark. So no, it's nothing. Uh, the other thing that we got is a lot of maps actually, and this is not all by the way. There is one particular map for some reason I have dropped these many extra underground river, maybe because I favor this map. That it dropped uh, much more, but uh, yeah, all the red tier maps here, all the numbers here are completely, completely from the simulacrum. All the red tier, all the unique, and also all the guardian maps. The unique, uh, I think there is the synthesis map that I didn't remove because uh, I know that yeah, it cannot be dropped from the, the the simulacrum, so we can exclude it easily, and it's worth nothing anyway. Uh, we can trade. I didn't even turn it on, I think. Wait a minute. Yeah, it is here. Ah, it has to do this. Yeah, it's nothing, right? The tier 17, of course, I bought this for the next project, so it's excluded. But these are not decent. Decent amount of money. Next one uh, is going to be the fragments. All the fragments here. This one, I ran some of the maps, by the way, just to test a few things, but they are all dropped from the same lab one, by the way. Quite some splinter, but I don't know if this is even worth anything. Yeah, <laughs> almost nothing, man. <laughs> almost nothing. These are dropped from Simulacrum, of course, exclude this Divine Vessel. All the scarab, I empty the scarab tab before I enter the simulacrum. And breach also. And of course, this is not related, so I. It's whatever. All the essences are also from simulacrum. This leak, I have not done any essence whatsoever. Oh, okay. Apparently, apparently, 
we uh, just got uh, one additional here. So this is 82. <laughs> cool. Right? It happened live, so you know, it's more believable. This time I didn't forget to uh, what this thing that should be here, right? This time I purpose purposefully did not put the ND on because there's a chance that I still get something sold. And indeed, I did get something sold. Uh, what? Where were we? Uh, okay, so the card. I actually, this card, six of these. Is the, exclusively, I'd have dropped all six of these from the simulacrum. And let's trade the definition card. Five Eldritch Kazo. Right. Some money. That's like 300 K, so that is like three extra divine, right? Let's just add three extra divine from Eldritch Chaos Orbs. Okay. And then the gems. I mean, in the part, there are still other parts as well, but, you know, most significantly are those uh, Eldritch Chaos Orb cards. All these level 21 gems are also from the simulacrum. All of them. Before I enter simulacrum, I did not keep any of the level 21 gems. These are all from simulacrum. I'm not sure if any of them are even worth anything. Some are like quality as well. Like, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure if, if anything is worth anything. But you know, it can be. Right, for example, this one is like one divine, we can just get it. Quality 20. So we can check like this, right? 50 chaos, 40 chaos, point blank, maybe nothing, right? Uh, Eric Fisher, no. Vortex, probably no as well. Vortexing burst. Yeah, I guess. Inferno Cry. Okay, 30 chaos. Uh, Pendant's Brand. Uh, this is normal Pendant's Brand, so it's worth nothing. Three Reap Gems. Hmm. Flammability, Ignite Duration, 50 gems. Right. So, so far from everything that I checked, there's probably net about three diff. Everything should be like three diff. Yeah. Roughly, I would say. For example, this one, we can put it here for one divine. It will probably sell very, very quickly. And so, let's go to Wealthy Exile in order to have the like, conclusion. Wealthy Exile. Stash. So, uh, let me see. No, I will not, I will not uh, include this tab here. I would say it is, on average, uh, 20 div, but you know, let's do 10 div, right? To be conservative, all the maps here. Uh, I would remove all the tier 17. Where are the tier 17s? Where are tier 17? Yeah, I don't think they even show here. Yeah, none of the tier 17 is here. Map tab, All right? This one, of course, we exclude this. Essences. Uh, wait a second. Oh, I I forgot to sync it. Okay, synced a few seconds ago. That's great, that's great. So, all the essences. Uh, all the fragments. All the maps. Let me exclude... Let me see if there is any of these. Map, yeah, I think map is alright. 
Oh, we need to sync everything. Oh. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Sorry, guys. I am noob. Sync. Sync. That makes sense. That makes sense. Because uh, last time I checked, the profit didn't go up. So, that's weird. The blight, uh, the, the oils actually all come from the similar one as well. Maybe one or two are, are from the previous map, but, you know, it's nothing. It's nothing. Gems. Okay. I didn't know I need to say so. Stack decks, right? Uh, currency, no, I would not select the um, Eldritch Ember. No, not this. Let me see if anything is exclusively from the Simulacra, this one. No, let's just, let's just not include anything. Let's just assume all the currency, you know, accumulate to 10 divides, right? Because there's a lot of them, actually. A lot of bubble gums. Uh, okay, now I can remove all the ziggurats, all the citadels. Of course, I have to include everything else. Because all of them are from the same lab run. I sell all the map. I have, I have someone who helped me with trading, so I give them everything. Okay. Uh, that is done with the maps, the fragments. This is nothing, by the way. The breach stone is so damn cheap, this leak. It's basically, it's nothing. Yeah. That's about it. Let me see invitation. Rethink invitation. Okay. This is three chaos. If I include this, it's do nothing. Okay, okay. It is all of course. Blight. All of course. Including the blight maps, of course. Parts, I will not include anything here. I will not include anything from the part here. Just know that we have some parts. And uh, simulacrum, yeah, we have these kind of simulacrum, the delirious map. And one similar button. And the gems. You know, really just, uh, yeah, this kind of things, right? The cremation is what uh, is not included. That's decent. That's decent. Okay. Well, these are not, you know, too important. But all right. So here, we are having 20 divine of maps, 34 divine of fragment, that is 54. For essences, wait a minute, why does it give total here? I don't think essences is, oh, so it just counts everything, okay, good. So we have a total of 96 divine uh, of everything here, and then plus 83 divine, so let me go on calculator. 96 plus 83 divided by uh, 50, right? And, 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 by the way, each simulacrum is costing me half a divine to buy, to purchase, right? Uh, I'm making a mistake. It's not minus five. Uh, okay, just plus five. Okay, uh, we got the same number now. Minus zero point five. Okay, so we have a total of three divine profit per simulacrum, basically. So it depends on the speed of how fast you run the simulacrum. It will, uh, you know, dictate the divines per hour rate. But from what I have ran so far. It is roughly like two simulacrum per hour, so it is like only six divine per hour. You know, given that I have a big drop, if we include that in here, <laughs> if we include this in here, right, and uh, that'll be an insane amount of divine per hours, but this is like a, a level of a mirror drop. So this is not reliable. So my conclusion for this strategy is this league is not that good. 
The main reason is a lot of the stuff that are the main, the common drop in the simulacrum that was account for a lot of the income that we have from the simulacrum like essences, like uh, cluster jewels drop significantly in, uh, in terms of prices. Also, I noticed last week, probably I have like one voices drop every two to three simulacrum, given that they are most of the time shit. But this week, the, the, the amount of, uh, of voices drop actually dropped significantly. It feels like one in five or six, so like probably have the drop chance of voices. Uh, it's just uh, it's just uh, how I see. Uh, it's not like uh, proven by any number or anything like that. Uh, but you know that is how I feel when I see the number of voices drop this league compared to previous. Um, also, the megalomaniacs last league I put like on the ten divine taps like some of them so but this league in one divine much much less of them are sold as well. So this is probably a dead thing that does not like really generate a lot of money anyway so yeah i level 84 cluster on average drop by 10 times in price from last league now split personality this one the int and strength last league was like 40 div this one is 14 only and um, yeah a lot of things that dropped in price you know combine together and make this strategy not a good strategy for currency farming this league however however the play style is like mm, unique right so you just come in you um, have a very small area and with the kind of build that uh, for example like the one i'm playing here you don't have to do much you can do you know a lot of things on the side i know you know some of the people in my discord they do like uh, they work on a second monitor they watch movies, watch animes, whatever you want to do on the second monitor. It is very chill. At some point, I even play another game on my second uh, on my second monitor because I'm just AFKing in the simulacrum. And you know, it is the playstyle that makes me you know do this strategy, uh, not the currency. Fortunately, it pays off for me. It dropped a very, very big ticket item, the biggest one actually, and you know it pays off for everything. And so, you know, if you want to have a chance for that to happen to you and you enjoy the playstyle, feel free. It's not going to be like negative money or anything. It's just going to be not as fast, not as fast as other strategies, I would say. And yeah, that's the conclusion for the Simulacrum. Uh, this league, I think uh, I would do actually a little bit more. The reason why is Simulacrum is very safe for me actually because I built this character specifically to do it, to be like immortal in Simulacrum and to do it very, very easily. And it gets a very, very decent amount of experience. And I, could, I will continue to do some of them. This probably take like 10 more, maybe a little bit more, maybe 15 to reach level 100 and when I reach level 100 I will move on into the next project the next project is gonna be this right I have bought 50 of the tier 17 map 10 of each and I want to run I just want to try to run all the marks on them and actually see how much we can handle with this build uh, in the tier 17 I think it can actually do quite a lot of them actually so far, the thing that I see that is like impossible is the mark of death. Uh, mark for death. Uh, let me see if there's a mark for death here. Players are marked for death for 10 seconds. Yeah. Let's say no, no. The mark for death is uh, right here, right? Right here. They said uh, it takes uh, the... the, the player take 30% increased damage that actually is not that big of a deal for us but cannot recover life or energy shield this is absolutely absolutely killing this build because we literally cannot gain any life through any method whatsoever in tier 17 in tier 16 we the, we do the no regen map you know less recovery whatever we always still have one of the layers of recovery here that is still working and still carrying our character so we can do all the map mods of tier 16 and below 
But uh, T17, for example, this mark for death here, it is just disable everything, including regen, including the defiance of destiny, including the recoup, and including even, even the life gain on hit. So, yeah, that's probably a death mode already for this build. Uh, but so far, with a glance, I think I can try everything, everything else, right? Should not be that that much of a problem. Maybe we will still do, we will not be able to do like a few mods, but I think that's good enough. And yeah, that is what is uh, coming in the future. Uh, so if you want to see how this is performing in T17, how well it can do, I mean, I have done like a total of 10 random maps, T17 for other people and for myself. And it's, it's fine, actually, it's fine. And uh, I have like one or two death, but given that was with a much weaker character than this one. Currently, I am much stronger than that point, and so I do have high hope for this character to perform very well in the tier 17. And so, yeah, that is everything I want to mention in this video today. So, long story short, if you want money, do not do Simulacrum this leak. If you want to, you know, chill, do something else while you are still farming, technically and you know hope for something big to drop that will carry your profit for a uh, quite a while like what i have then uh feel free civil rock room is still chill it still makes some money it's not going to be negative the problem okay also also another problem that i forgot i should mention uh, earlier is as you see already most of the profit of civil rock room are from a lot of stuff and you need to sell them in bulk basically in order to even profit from it. So that is another thing that you need to keep in mind, right? In terms of raw currency, you know, you probably, you know, be lucky if you break even, I would say. Yeah. Oh, by the way, the profit that I uh, calculated did not include any currency whatsoever. It's just these are the thing that was sold and the other one on the wealthy exile I calculated I did not include anything within here. Oh, now that I see this again, there will be a video of me opening this stack decks. I'm not going to sell them. No way. Okay. So, see you in the next video, or see you on the stream, Monday to Friday, 10 p.m. EST to probably 4 p.m. PST EST the next day. And so, yeah. Also, I also so much, but also, uh, I now have a Patreon channel, so uh, if you want to further support this channel, feel free to check it out. I leave the link in the description video. But you know, just keep in mind that you watching this video and you you know following this channel is already a very very support for me, and I very much appreciate it. I very much appreciate it. And yeah, peace.